What's up, YouTube? Your boy, JD. Making a video here on my uh, my newest upgrade I did for my FPV system. Um, it's something that I've some, been doing some research on, research here on for a while. Um, I wasn't able to really find much on it because of the radio system that I use. I use the uh, the Walker Real Division series. I have the Devo Seven and the uh, the Devo Ten. And there, you know, like I said, there wasn't a whole lot of, you know, information out there or videos about what you can do to get more range out of it. So what I ended up doing was um, I put a two-wire booster on it and that, you know, it, it increased the range a pretty good bit. You know, it wasn't nothing too crazy. I mean, I was getting like two miles out of the setup, but that was a pretty glitchy ride and an extremely, you know, fairly high altitude, you know, to be able to achieve that. Um, but far as like low range, you know, barely a mile at a good low range, you know, it, most of the time, not even that, you know, before it started glitching out like crazy. But anyway, but I ended up contacting this company trying to figure out, you know, what would work for the Walker Rear Division Series radios. And um, I ended up talking to the guys there and they told me what would work. And um, what I ended up getting for the upgrade is, bam. The Dragon Link. Um, plug and play. Most definite. I mean, this just plugs straight in. I talked to, to Mike there, Dragon Link. Really nice guy. Um, he just said, just use the mono plug. Plug it straight in. And you're good to go. And that's exactly all I had to do. Um, just the mono plug straight in. And, uh, you know, power it up. No type of special programming or nothing I had to do to make this to where... It works. Um, even the fail save this program in the radio still works for the unit, which I thought was pretty cool. It's like a double safety. You got the safety of the, the Dragon Link that you still can use the safety built in the radio system. That's awesome. But anyway, I got it plugged in. Um, I have a 4S that I was using to go into the, is an S back inside of this that I was using the power of the two wide booster that I had hooked up. Um, and I went ahead and I'm going to leave that same power setting going to it. So the Dragon Link is only going to get, you know, six volts out of it. Um, not really sure it's going to get more range. I mean, uh, more light time out of this battery for doing that on anything. You know, I just figured since I got it, you know, already in the radio system just to go ahead and use it. And plus, I mean, you know, it's going to help this guy I figure maybe in the long run far as light time go, not having to handle such high voltage you know, like that, and letting the S-Bag do all the work. But anyway, but far as that go, that's pretty much it. Just plugs it in, follow the um, the videos on Dragon Link as far as installation go, the calibration. Um, as far as the calibration and all that stuff go, a lot of that I was able to skip because of the, um, the V2 Next Generation series this is, which was pretty cool. So, I mean, I had literally everything up and ready to go within like five minutes. I just had to, you know, install the receivers into my models and that was pretty much it. But let me show you the RX. Um, pretty basic. You just plug in your servo wires, mount it, get your antenna wire tricks and mount it. And that's pretty much it. Um, with the antenna, I wasn't Sure, because I do on the older model Dragon Link's antennas that you had to have one of the wires pointed up and it had to be a certain one. So I was talking to Mike and he was like, you know, with this new antenna system, it don't really matter which one is pointed up. Just as long as you got one of them up in the air and you're good to go. And, um, and he really told me as far as this one guy on the bottom, I got to sit up to where when it's flying, it's going to be hanging pretty much straight down the whole time. He said, I can just let that flop and it still should get some pretty good... Um, range out of it, but I haven't been able to test none of this stuff out yet. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, this is a, a pretty promising setup, um, no doubt about that. So, hopefully, here pretty soon I'll be posting some videos of some crazy, retarded long range videos or extremely low alpha flights with my quadcopter, <laughs> which I'm excited about, no doubt about that. This is like a, a dream come true, no doubt. But Thanks again, guys, at Dragon Links. You know, the support is awesome. Um, you guys rock. And uh, if any of you guys have any questions um, or any comments, post them. 
um, shoot me an email and uh, we'll get you guys fixed up. But we appreciate you dudes for watching um, and keep looking for me. Peace.